What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Warhammer 2 video for you guys today. And once again we are playing with the SFO Grimhammer mod and it is us as Norska, surprise surprise. When um, Actually we're technically playing as Wintertooth here and uh, we are versing uh, the Mighty Lizardmen. So guys let's briefly go over our army. We've got a huge front line of Marauders with Great Weapon. We brought them along, armor piercing, they deal a lot of damage. They're going to cut through the Lizard's armor pretty solidly. We then also have two groups of the Norskin Ice Trolls back here, just to give us a little bit of Frostbite. They've got Regeneration, they've got the Magical Aura as well. We then have the War Mammoth with the War Shrine, just to get anti-infantry. He'll plow through any sort of small base Saurus Warriors. As well as that, he does give us the extra 10 melee attack. We then have two groups of Famir Warriors. I'm pretty sure two groups of Famir Warriors. Yeah, there we go there. You can see there, they're the anti-infantry anti type. We then have a single group of Skin Wolves that are armored and a Skin Wolf Werkin. In hindsight, I probably should have bought another extra anti-large unit. I was tossing up whether I bring a Famir Warrior and then the Great Weapons kind that has the anti-large. Ended up going with the anti-infantry. So these are our anti-large units. And then we also have, I forgot to mention Big Daddy Throg here in the front. Leading the army. Oh, that looks absolutely, absolute, absolutely imposing. Look at that. Giant mammoth followed, I mean, a giant troll followed by a giant mammoth. How can you get better than that? So, guys, for my opponent's army, he's got pretty much a front line of Saurus spears and warriors. You can see there. Uh, some do have the shield variant. Yeah, some have got shields. He's also got a group of skin cohorts, an ancient Sally. Krokgar on his Carnosaur, and a Skink Priest of the Heavens on a feral, on an Ancient Stegodon, which I have not seen very often. He also has a Feral Bastilodon and any Ripodactyl Riders? Yep, three groups of Ripodactyl Riders. Always bring those Ripodactyl Riders, but of course I forget about them. We also have two groups of Marauder Horsemen out on the flanks. Vanguard deployed, pretty much going to go straight after that Ancient Sally. So guys, let's get the battle underway. And uh, get into it. At this rate, we're just kind of chilling right here. We're like, let's get the opponents to come to us. Ancient Sally hasn't started firing yet on us, I think. And that's when we're like, all right, let's get these guys moving. We wanted our horse masters a little bit closer before we started moving up. Just so we could shut down the uh, Ancient Sally quick enough. And you can see here, we do take a couple of shots from the Salamander before it gets there. But uh, yeah, and now Throg does have the Wintertooth Crown as well as Stand or Die. So that Wintertooth Crown is going to be great for the Frost Trolls, no, sorry, the Ice Trolls because of their uh, leadership. And Throg takes a huge blast from Croker. But here we go. The Marauder Horse Masters are coming through. Our Skin Wolf Werekin just goes straight for him as well. Plows straight through the Saurus Spears. That was absolutely legendary. And he's going to shut down that Ancient Sally pretty quickly with the backup of the Marauder Horsemen. We do send our Skin Wolves, the Armored Skin Wolves, after the Skin Priest as well. Throg Daddy's coming in. He's going to pulverize some of these lizards into the ground. Make them into lizard goop. Mammoth with the War Shrine's coming in. Giving the passive melee attack buff to everyone around him. And we do pop the fire damage bonus onto Throg in a second here as well. Krokgar still standing up here. Skin Wolf Werkin. He's just, he's just nailing into this Ancient Sally. He's not taking any of it. He's ready to kill this bad boy. Ready to take it down. And you can already see the damage difference between the two. We have um, anticipated this skin cohort group with the Marauder Horse Master, Horseman. And these guys are firing into the Ancient Salamander, I believe. Yep, they're firing into it very slowly, as you can see. I don't know what's going on there. Skin Priest is under fire from the Skin Wolves. Krogar's coming in. He's tearing apart these Ice Trolls. But I do believe we pop the Wintertooth Crown very soon. We pretty much want to take this Skin Priest out first because he does have the healing one. I can't remember what it's called. And he's got Harmonic Convergence. So we bring everyone in. It's just a massive dog pit right now. Skin Wolf Wakin has been detrimental right now. We pop all these buffs to try and finish off this Ancient Sally. And the Ripodactyl Riders are over there floating in the distance. Like I said, we completely forgot about them. But we see here that the Marauders are struggling to take this fight with the Bastilodon. So we send some Famir Warriors over here to help out. And Curse of the Midnight Wind goes down on us. And uh, we didn't actually notice that, I don't think, when we were actually playing. And here comes the Chain Lightning. This is just going to roll through our units because they're all bunched up through here. Krokar moves on to our Marauder Horseman. And the Mammoth is just kind of like, what do I do now? I'm just going to be a Mammoth and walk around. In hindsight, we probably had, should have had him cycle charging through these Saurus Warriors at the front here. But our forces take a very big hit 
especially these skin wolves from that chain lining. Like, it was a huge amount of damage that they took. Ice Trolls are coming in, though. They're going to start slowing stuff down. Curse of the Midnight Wind is still popped on our boys. And uh, we were trying to get them out of there, but unfortunately, we just couldn't. But here come the Ripodactyl Riders. And we have moved the War Mammoth down here to plow through these boys. And uh, the Ancient Sally is taken out. Comet of Cassandra, I believe, popped there. And uh, our Skin Wolf Wekin is somewhere. I think we were using him to chase off the Ancient Sally. Nope, there he is there. He's still fighting the Ancient Sally. I believe we do use him to fight off the Ancient Sally, though, and uh, make it terrified and run off the map. Skin Priest with the Heavens is going in. Throg, though, just cops another huge artillery piece from Croker. I can't remember what that missile is called, but it is a ridiculously powerful missile. Let's take a quick look here. There we go. Hand of, the, Hand of Gods. And that does just so much damage. And Throg gets taken out. He's broken. He's heading away. The Ice Trolls try to intercept Croker because he's coming in to finish off Throg. And we can't let that happen. Because Norskin is not very good. And you can see here the balance of power is... Is that in our favor? I believe it is in our favor for now. But with Throg broken off and wavering, it could very well turn the tide. But this Skin Wolf Wekin with his regeneration and everything shredded the uh, Ancient Sally. And here's Throg. Throg is coming back. He has wavered, but he's recovering himself. And he's going to be coming back to battle real soon. Now, at this stage, we do pop Foe Seeker, but for some reason, he gets terrified again? I have no idea why. So we just wasted Foe Seeker there, which is a bit annoying. And the Fami Warriors are coming back. War Mammoth is coming back in as well. He's just going to come through. He's going to help out, try and stop Krokar, which isn't a bad thing, but... Krokar does have the anti-large. The Skin Priest with the Heavens does go down as well to the Ice Trolls. Thank God for that. Ripidactyls are coming in, cleaning up the rest of our uh, Chaos Marauders with the Great Weapons. And, you know, it's just constant damage. But we do switch our Horsemen onto the Ripidactyls as well. Dealing the damage, getting there slowly. Throg starts to come back. Now, if we can get into this fight and pop uh, the Crown of Wintertooth, we have this in the bag because it'll make our troops unbreakable and that'll be enough to finish off the match. We notice that the Ancient Sally has been chased off. So we start bringing our, ancient, uh, our Skin Wolf Werkin back into the fray. And I'm pretty sure we do pop Foe Seeker as well as his other one that he has. That makes him move faster and his vigor. And right now the Mammoth is just plowing through these Saurus Spears. Dealing damage. Trying to take him out. Throg is over here. I believe we do pop Crown or the Wintertooth Crown. Which gives us the physical resist and unbreakable to all these units. Which are really low. Like, my opponent could have potentially finished off these units um, if we hadn't popped the Wintertooth Crown. They would have definitely routed off, they would have wavered, and we would have lost them. As well as that, the Physical Resist is nice, and Stand or Die does get popped down on them. Norsk and Ice Trolls are fighting this Bastilodon, and we bring the Werewkin back in, and he is going to go to town on Krokar. We pop all his buffs, give him the fire damage as well, I believe. There it is there, Giver of Glory, which gives him the weapon. Armor piercing damage and the weapon damage causes him to be unbreakable, as well as the fire damage, and we just surround Krokar. Get the mammoth in, we're like, let's get a charge in, and Krokar is going to go down. He can't escape, the Norsk and Ice Trolls are in there giving him frostbite, and just like that, guys, the match is over due to army losses. Whew! That was an intense fight. You know me, I do love playing as my Norsk and army, though. Love me some Ice Trolls and all their uh, monsters that they can bring. As well as, I don't know what happened with this group of horsemen, but they didn't get any kills. I don't know if it was because of the angle they were firing on or what, but yeah, they just they just didn't do very good at all. So guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.